Hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beta Plan and this is Europa Universalis 4 where we are playing as Ryazan, Roaring Ryazan, trying to form Russia. It has been a fight. Well then, why are we back? Well, the war with Bohemia and Lithuania is over and uh, Bohemia took also Belarusian territories and immediately rivaled us. Ooh, Canaan. Well, you know what? No worries. I'm soon going to attack Lithuania over here. I don't even care if they are allied to Poland anymore or married to them. And then we are going to smack them. Why? Well, the Ottoman warning is about to end in November. So, you know what? Let's just wait a little bit. Oh, no longer a valid rival. But I can immediately put them back in there. Thank you for that... Uh, uh, it, for that just e eclipsing bonus. Because we were a little bit low on on, on uh, power. And yes, I, I fixed my economy. But uh, I had forgotten just how expensive cannons are to maintain, apparently. So uh, that was the one thing that I needed to do. Just lower army maintenance. Uh, it's a little annoying. Because, uh, <clears throat> basically, this is not by a long shot are the limit that my army can... The amount of troops I can have out, but I just cannot pay for them. Oh, Muscovy has incorporated that. Muscovy is now at a plus 52 only. Holy smokes. This alliance is also about to break. That is a clear cut thing. Which is fine, and in the end we do need to attack Muscovy. But uh, yeah, and by the way, the incredible lower prestige. Why is that? That's Kazan. Oh, I really ought to stop this. Lithuania. Declare war. No longer protected by the Ottomans. I'm not going to do a darn thing other than attack them myself. I am going to pulverize them, is my idea. Uh, I hope that Lithuania cooperates. We have been warned, but it is too late. We've already gone to war. Just annoying that they've done that again because it is an incredibly limiting factor to our expansion. Uh, we'll take the prestige hint because hopefully we will gain some prestige in this war. There is at least a conversion of the true faith. Let's continue with this. I'm converting all the uh, the provinces that we gained from Poland over here. And here is still a lot of Orthodox provinces. So I, I kind of want to grab this part and that part, getting at least Orthodox provinces. Hopefully that will uh, make it better for us. It should be cheaper because we don't need the missionary for everything. But I cannot guarantee that it all will work out. And uh, luckily, because this was a very early attack, we definitely don't have full morale on our armies yet. But Lithuania has been so weakened by other wars that I don't see them really fighting this off. And as we our alliance with Austria grows in time, like how long we've had it, the more favors we will build up and then we can finally get Austria to come in. And Austria versus Bohemia and us, that's gonna be a bummer for Bohemia. Because Bohemia has other alliances well, I have to admit, they are allied with Sweden, and that is not a good thing, but... Who knows, by that time we have more of Muscovy, or Muscovy is still allied to us and willing to fight with us. We'll have to see. Because I can't imagine that the Ottomans would jump into each and every war that I... Uh, ensue, because otherwise, what is the... Mm, the monetary cost for them becomes too big. At least that's what I... That's what I think. But on the other hand, Musk, uh, uh, it's the Ottomans. What financial issue? Like, they don't have one. So, you know. Uh, let's improve this. Oh. Two against 22. I think I know who's going to win. That was an insta win. Uh, we're going to bloop. The warning was too late reinstated. 
And I was almost too late to, to even attack, so I'm glad that the Ottomans gave us just this tiny little window in which we attacked. Between November and January. I'm surprised they still have manpower, but then again, they will probably have a ton of revanchism, yes. But I don't think they're gonna have a lot of revenge coming from this one. They're just too weak. There we go. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but one of the children here that has been playing in the, in the front yard, as I call it, which is... It probably got hurt. Oh boy, <laughs> I feel... Oh, okay, I can hear already somebody going towards him, that's good. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, I said front yard, we don't really have a front yard in that sense. We have a little uh, square, if you will, this is also not very true, but in our streets, no, uh, no autos, no cars can drive. So, children can really play rather freely wherever they want. And that is just nice. It's very quiet, very peaceful. Where are you going? Yeah, you're you're you are married to Lithuania, you, but you're not allied. Are you just hiding your troops? Hold on. Like, what are you doing? Out, I'm just out of pure curiosity. I just wonder what the heck they're doing. Hold on. You're locked in. We'll smack you there. And we'll smack this one cavalry unit. <laughs> and this gives us a little bit of army tradition by just fighting. And we lack it sincerely, severely, so I'm not, not against this. There we go, let's push into that, let's push into that. While we wait for the sieges to succeed. Religious civil disorder in Riga, alright. We'll be able to capture and catch that. They're probably too big to vassalize, but basically that's their only way to they could survive, but You know, they're like, nope Maybe we really need to become Russia if we want to start fighting the Ottomans I mean, We can have a big army out, but we don't have the funds Pragmatic sanction uh, 1540 established the individuality of his lands and established succession by the order of the firstborn Take the seat of the imperial throne. What? what? No, it's not yet done by. Uh... Don't see that. Is is the empire now always going to be? No, it's still electors. I, I'm a little confused. I didn't read that correctly. That's clear. It's my mistake. Uh, creating some troops? Sure, go ahead. We should have a second general. Not that he's worthy of much note, but, you know, it's a second general. And Lithuania is still creating troops. Which means we can get war score and army tradition by smacking into them. Oh, you don't get a lot of, a lot of uh, tradition if uh, your rival is really weak. Pinsk. But lazy is not of our culture. Let's actually, I shouldn't have not taken that one. Oh, Grodno is as well. Perhaps we should take but lazy later. I've seen that with so many regions. I think they, they, they definitely did that on purpose. That uh, the cultures don't match the provinces. Uh, we gain a core. Now that is interesting. We had a claim already, but now we have a core. Um, we'll definitely take the five legitimacy because our legitimacy isn't very good. Oh boy, howdy, Lithuania, Lithuania. 
Thank you for uh, being my little cash cow, my little money cow. I am going to take all that I can from you. And I will make you cry. And once the two lands that were once yours, that now are captured by Bohemia, I will get them as well. It will just take a little longer. I have really ought to warn you guys. How do you warn a nation? Like, if you go to war, I'm coming after you. Send warning. They are far too rich and powerful for our warning to be taken serious. How did the Ottomans do it on them with me when I was a great power? I mean, oh my dear lord, I've dropped off. Well, that isn't great, now is it? I've become only weaker. I always thought it came rather quick, but apparently my expansion has uh, been severely limited. Which I understand why. A.K.A. Ottomans, but... What to do? I'll take the legitimacy again. And uh, there it is. There's the war. Just gonna get that little hundred because I can. Nope. I will consider it myself what I want. Thank you very much. Lithuania. You cannot be made a vassal. I want the... I want a port. I'm gonna get myself a port, which is nice. Um, and these are all in territories I think I already have. Yeah, so that would be very good to grab that. That is part of territories that I don't own. Also, this is Lithuanian. Yeah, I'm looking for the Belarusian territories. And I would like to take what is Orthodox. So that's all of this. And then we want... Oh. oh, I was about to say, where is war reparations? But that was just too low to see. 24 boxes, not, not something to, to write home about. If I do this... Uh, 42, that's not that big. Bohemia might do something. Uh, I'm not too afraid of Poland stepping in. And minus 54, it could happen, but it's not that great. Uh, Lithuania, if it steps into a, a, a coalition against me with Bohemia, I'm only going to welcome it. So I don't mind. That is a... Uh... There you go. This is now the new Ryazan. We could core it all. So that is excellent. Uh, this, this, this is a Ryazan worthy of note. It is um, basically <laughs> Ryazan, Lithuania, we're taking parts of the Great Horde. And all, a lot of the good things of what we just taken is that most of it is actually indeed is of the right religion. So that we don't have any issues with that as well. Yeah, this is uh, this is nice. This is a nice worry uh, thing. Oh. We've become a great power again. Lithuania is no longer a rival. That is unlogical. Uh, I, we are again positive on prestige. Um, asking her for money. No. Pres do we want prestige? Do we want... I'm actually going to take the prestige, I think. And now I should really stop, because now I think I have on... If I go one more over, I will have uh, imbalanced research. I need a, really need a Diplo to hit. Which is why I'm not taking the idea group. Pike infantry, there we go. Oh, Lithuania, did you got your ass handed to you. So, Ottomans, thank you. They want our provinces. My, uh, 140. They want all of this territory. You bastards. No. Is, is my answer to that one. No. Just a resounding no. 
Yeah, me and the Ottomans are not going to be friends. Neither Russia is never uh, friends with Ottomans, but we uh, we really need to be a uh, we need to be careful. And then I hate doing this, but I gotta, because only in wartime apparently I'm making enough money for some reason. Because we don't have war taxes. Actually, yes, I'm raising war taxes, of course. I meant to say we don't have any free war taxes, but apparently those war taxes are good enough to make our country some income that we don't have at this moment. Uh, you guys go back again in Podbosi. We're still at maximum manpower. You know what? I'm considering actually building more units. Add one here. Add a few there. Make our army bigger. Austria, we are now neighbors. We now have a port. We should really look at our trade situation. We own most of the Kiev trade node. Like, what do we not own? We own this part not. But it doesn't have a big impact. And Lithuania still owns Villainous, which is a thing. But we also own a lot of the Crimea... No, not a lot. We own a little bit of the Crimea trade node. But we're already transferring trade power there. Kazan owns a little bit of, of the Kazan trade node, of course, but unfortunately that goes into Novgorod. <laughs> Our trade situation is just so bad. It really is. Nope, we're waiting on the tech to arrive. Yeah, and we're, I, I expect a, a, a few rebellions to occur. I do expect that. But you cannot deny that, uh, although it hasn't gone superb and we've done quite well in expansion yeah you're never gonna like me anymore this the idea of uh, hey make them like me well enough that they won't do come in because it will cause stability issues that is no longer a tactic that we can make use of muscovy is at only plus 41 also we're about to lose muscovy which is fine are strong enough to handle Muscovy because if Muscovy drops us they have Serasia down here and us and we will have Austria and I think now that we've lost this our army is even a bit smaller than us so let's pick Bohemia and as soon as Muscovy becomes a rival that will change so much the opinion, I think, of a lot of people. Because there won't be any more allied to rival. And this actually isn't true even for, for these guys. In fact, we have now enemy of my enemy already for some time. Because I don't like Denmark as well. Sweden, we could be bros. Uh, I'm not joking about that. Actually, until we go and get Novgorod uh, as a vassal. Because now we need to attack Sweden. But for a while, we can be definitely be bros. We can take part of them. Uh, and I'm not that interested in the... Uh... Actually, does Russia gain permanent claims on the Baltic states? Don't know. Don't rightfully know. You've moved. Yeah, or better say, you did move when I, I, I moved his army. Come on, guys. I need income. Oh. This, this is painful how low I need to put the army maintenance. Muscovy is at his maximum opinion, plus 55. <laughs> ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I mean, we could annex them, but I'm not willing to do that just yet. I have done a little bit. Oh, your capital was so unfortunately there. The, the rebels spawned. Hire Ottoman officers. Ottomans will hate us. I don't have the money for that. Sorry. Turn down the infecting officers. I can't do it. Otherwise, would have been uh, not 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 to uh, not against that per se. We're about to hit this button.
let me see here what it is that I wanted because I already done this once and I don't want to constantly look into it. Uh, this I cannot make a claim and I can make a claim on that and that is done. And I have a claim already here on you so I think I am pretty fine with the uh, making one more claim on Bohemia and be done with it. So I think it's been best time to start talking to people again. We made Brandenburg by the way friendly. Which is nice. Why is Brandenburg friendly? Although they hate Poland. They also Bohemia also is not very friendly with them. Um I don't think Yeah, it is it is basically time to to uh, tell Muscovy to take a hike. But only after I create some stability in our country. Oh, we uh then we're going to go back. And we'll uh, make sure that we can grab these two. Oh, we can take it. I know it's very expensive, but we're going to take it. Because the institution spread, I've checked that before we, uh, I, uh, before off camera. It is horribly bad. It is horribly bad, the institution spread for us, the colonialism. Which is definitely the next thing I'm going to do. Which is uh, an institution spread within true faith provinces. The question is, do I want to go for a golden age now? Should have done that sooner because all power cost is minus 10%. I should do that after we equalize with the institution. Then we might do that. By the way, for those wondering, I, have, um, I haven't been uh, focused on the administration for a while now. I'm just balanced. Our, our military tech is in advance. I, I could use, yeah, this. But money. Money be a thing. But this guy being there has helped us a lot with conversions. And of course, it's not really a cheapy to spend that. Splendid. Rise and gain the claim on Vulkimir's. Where? Oh. Okay. I guess that's fine. I mean, we're rivaling Denmark, so... I just don't expect to do a lot with it. Uh, but we definitely are going to make states. Don't get me wrong. Could make this a state, actually, indeed. But that's not the state I'm first looking into. I should definitely state this one. Yep. No, not that one. Not that one. This is not a state? Oh my dear, I am up. No wonder I'm making so little money. I thought it was a state. Are we still coring you? Yeah, we are. Hold on, we, we, what is the... This is the map mode I'm looking for. Look, I'm willing to stay quite a bit, actually, because I think we have more than enough, probably. No wonder I'm making so little money. What a bad play on my side. I apologize for everyone watching. I forgot to make state. I am such an old player, I still forget that that is a, sometimes a thing. Yeah, we'll state it. Because this is Belenus. But that's fine. This I'm not so much willing to state. Maybe one day we will make use of that. Maybe I'm going to once conquer pieces of, of Denmark. We'll have to see. You guys. I can't say I'm really looking forward to this, stating this, but I probably will. Yeah, it's not like this is a great territory, but let's just do it. You're of the right culture group. 
I shouldn't be too stingy on that. There we go. Stated. Should also help incredible much with the conversions later on. There we go. Now a lot of this territory is actually truly territory. Uh, how many more states can we make? Like, where is... That's not exactly what I was looking for, but thank you, game. Where's my uh, governing capacity? Eh... Won't be much more expensive. I'll take it. So that makes at least all the areas that are truly of our culture or culture group states. That is the good thing. Let's let's take that. There we go. And with Saratov being the ex an exception over here, we're doing fine. And Podolia is an exception. Podolia. I didn't think we had Podolia. I thought, uh, is that Podlazy what I'm thinking about? Yeah, we don't have that. Podolia. Yeah, that's also one I am just misremembering. We can't convert this one for some reason. Yeah, okay, hold on. But why is this? Seed of Strong Aristocrats. Ah, all right. And yes, we have a humanist idea group, so we don't need to convert in that sense. But on the other hand, I'll... We can have so many more. I hope I can pay for this. In... Uh, the, near, there it is. There's the income. The income that we lacked so badly. I apologize. Our nation suffered under me. I did... I thought I really stated that. Peasants war in Lithuania. Well, let's make ourselves a lot bigger. A lot bigger army. In order to crush all that opposes. us. They made it both Catholic. How dare they. Let's do that one. We need 30 for this one. Of course a military leader leaves us. I mean, why in the heck doesn't he? Is it me or does my... Oh my... I mean, yes, he has five stars, but only in fire. No, really, sorry. You gotta, you gotta go. Our technology isn't... We don't even know yet what firing means. What? He's not in the general overview. Huh? They still have the old general here. And firing him doesn't do anything. What is going on here? No leader. I can't kick him. I'm stuck with a general I don't want. Because I think he's crap. <laughs> Uh, game? <laughs> I know I, I, I made a misplay there, but, um... Uh, it's kind of cruel. <laughs> yeah, Muscovy is... Oh, it's now minus only 126. Oh, <laughs> uh, Muscovy, we are about to dis end this alliance of ours. I will probably pick you over Sweden. Uh, Polotskan rebels, sure. Oh, it is good to see that we can have five and a half money again for troops. I am... What is our combat width? Our combat width is 25. So yeah. Minor, minor bit of reserve cavalry, but in principle on the flanks. 
Do this, and then we need to get you some... In fact, if we just do this... This is not entirely smart, because now I just have the bare minimum of the flank. Uh, two cavalry on the flank and everything else is uh, center is uh, normal troops. Oh. I thought Minsk was a large enough province, but apparently it isn't. Please to be moving. Thank you. But yeah, we will try to create two armies. Oh, okay, forever we stand alone. Everybody hates us. <laughs> I just have expect a, a thing pop, a thing to pop up here. Yeah, you've lost your your present rebellion. I don't know what that does for them in the end. Like, it's not like they can lose much more. Okay, we have all the claims we want on Lithuania. I will talk to Kazan. I will talk to... Austria. And uh, off camera, I will wait until I can build... Three cans for this army. And then we have... And four more units for this army. And then we have two large armies to fight with. We should be able to field all that, right? Yeah. Four plus three, is, that's within our limits. And then Ryazan is fielding a quite substantial army. And all the effects of that will come in the next episode. I say thank you for watching and remember, great peril yields great beauty.